Hi folks, welcome back to the Horde. So it's about 5 to 4. It is May 20th, Tuesday, 23.6 degrees. Though so you saw my batteries were charged earlier. The sun's not on them. I'm still looking at 76 here. All right, let's talk about the engine on this thing. Typically, if you buy one of these, you, you kind of get it something like this. You might have to put this on. You might have to put this back together again. Whatever you got to put back together again is fine, but it's a matter of you got to make sure you time these correctly. If you take off If you take out those two screws and you take that out, you take the pulse generator off, you take that bolt off, this slides right off. And what you'll do is um, the shaft here is the um, cam shaft. It, um, it runs the valves. And if you look at the cam shaft, you'll see a little notch on it or a little um, key sticking out, little pin sticking out. And what you got to do is you got to slide that pin right here and on. Very common thing to have happen is that little pin falls out and kind of falls into the engine. And if it gets into the wrong place, obviously it's going to get into some kind of trouble. Hopefully if you do have to put one of these together like I did here, the pin stayed intact. So it's just a matter of slotting this on, which is how you time your spark, right? the thing that's going to trigger your spark to your camshaft. Now you want to make sure that your cam and your um, flywheel are all timed together properly. And the way you do that is you rotate this around and somewhere where you see these two line up, if you look in here at the engine, You're going to see a couple of marks. You're going to see this thing sticking down from on top first, and then you're going to attempt to look at the flywheel. And hopefully, you're going to see a little dot and all. Where could I put that flashlight? That works the best. You see kind of a T, and to the left of that, you see an F, and then you see a circle see a circle with the line between the T and the F and you should I'm hoping to highlight yeah I think you could see it there the circle and the line after the F well that circle and line that's kind of just before the F you want to make sure you line it up with that and then you make sure you line this up here see those two lines right so you line those two up and everybody's happy okay you have to do that first and by the way if you loosen those two bolts you can move the um, the pulse generator forward and back the other thing I had to do for this engine and it was particularly important put a single or you, you know just a double paper this is just binder paper I stuck it between here, loosened these two guys up, and dropped it down, made sure it was nice and tight on that paper. And then once I got the paper out, I made sure, I might be able to show you the gap. I don't know how good this camera's gonna be. Anyway, and I made sure that gap is only paper thin then I spun it around a few times to make sure it wasn't grinding or getting into any trouble anywhere. So that's, you know, when you're doing an ignition job and you ask the question, how do I wire it? If you're having any ignition problems, that's the first thing to make sure that your timing 
is all kosher. I also checked the compression and the compression was good on this engine. Other than that, wiring it, if you have a standard harness, is really a piece of cake, right? The stuff in the plug here, you basically have ground, and uh, this is this is really more for the um, lights, but y you know, just to just to be complete, we'll hook that up. This is really what powers your your spark. This little, it's it's actually red and black wire. Before I try to fire it up, I'm going to make sure those are hooked up. And then you just put the green and yellow with the green and yellow. And the the green, green with the green, green, right? It's got nothing else. I'll slip those in in a second. And then you make sure your your ground is really clean. And I'm going to bolt the ground right, right to the case here. That way I know that I have a rock solid ground. So I'm going to hook that to the case. And that's all you need to hook up. Um, your CDI units right here. The round plug CDIs, unless you find some new old stock somewhere or a used one, uh, you can't get the round pluggers anymore. You can get the uh, square plug six wire guys, and they're the same as the ones you get from China. As a matter of fact, pin to pin compatible for the ones that you get from China. And if you have a 185, um, that uses the square plug, and once again, it's pin to pin compatible with the ones for China, from China. They cost like 10, 12 bucks delivered from eBay. You slam one right in here if you think your CDI is bad and it lets you fire right up. If you have a round plug, then you have to cut wires and reverse engineer it and figure it out. And I could probably do that for you if you really need to have it done. Um, it is hard to um, hook these wires up to a CDI without a decent plug. It's very, it's annoying. You gotta kind of break the plastic away and try to solder them on without blowing up the CDI unit. And if you're soldering them on, obviously you don't want to screw up. And then you should sl slide some shrink wrap up and slide. You, you know, it's a, it's it's a pain in the butt. So um, if you do have to convert from from round to square it's best if you pop for the harness the harness is like another eight ten bucks which makes the whole conversion somewhere around 20 bucks but then then you're good forever right you you have a source of of parts um, here's the coil and the coil has both a ground and a um, and a positive on it so uh, the coil doesn't have to be grounded to the body. On a bunch of these, the coil actually, you have to make sure the coil is grounded right to the body. All right, what I'm going to do is finish hooking this wire up. And I'm going to see if I have spark with this thing. And assuming that's so, I'm going to put the recoil back on it. And we're going to attempt to fire it up on its, um, on its OEM ignition. Uh, this is a... Um, 84 200s i think these kind of ignition systems were like 85 forward 86 forward i think i think my 85 has one so i think i think the round plugs are 85 forward if you go 84 back i think they're square plugs um and i think honda 185s i think all of those are square plugs too so um just just a couple of comments about the cdi units all right, let me put this back together again. We'll give it another shot. Folks, thanks for watching, commenting, subscribing. Uh, remember to keep your feet down, your head up, and we'll see you on the next episode of The Horde, which is shortly. Bye.